XAD's a global mobile location marketplace that focuses on using the context of location to make meaningful advertising experiences. When people say what you do, yeah. what do you tell them is the most fun part of your job? The fact that things are changing on a daily basis. I mean, we're watching Apple make a new update today. Um, how is that going to impact our business, right? You've got different screen sizes. You have the Apple Watch. You have um, different updates. You have privacy. You have compliance. Um, we're constantly trying to look around us and see how can we make better decisions? How can we make our brands do a better job reaching their consumer? And in an ever-changing ecosystem, you know, it's up to us to kind of scramble and stay up to speed. One of the frustrations is that the eyeballs are showing up at digital, but uh -huh. the ad dollars are not showing up. <laughs> right. Talk I, a little bit about that. Where I, are we then with that? Because you talk to clients every day about that, I imagine. Right. I think that's something we're doing a lot of research, partnering with the MMA on the SMOC study, I think was really important to show for, for every dollar that you spend in digital or TV, then um, if you were to move that same dollar into mobile, what would be the exponential return of that dollar? And we're seeing that. I think Greg Stewart has done a fantastic job with that research. We'll see it here today um, or, or see it here tomorrow. Um, where brands like Coca-Cola, Walmart, Amex, major brands are seeing the impact once they shift their dollars. Not just, oh, we have a higher click-through rate or, oh, we're driving more store visits, but we're seeing more sales. We're seeing increase in awareness that leads to maybe better distribution of our product. That's real-world value um, that, that most people may not tie to a mobile phone. Some people criticize the fact that um, the executive creative director, you know, enjoys making television commercials <laughs> versus, right. you know, there's Going not as many... Going out to Bali. <laughs> <clears throat> having, if, if having that and craft service and mm -hmm. there's a lot more distinguished awards for their career. Right. And there's more money. How, how do we deal with that? Well, I think uh, is it a problem? And, and if it is, how do we deal with it? Yes, it's, it's definitely a concern and, and you know, we first focused on, on, I'll kind of backtrack for a moment, we first focused on the foundational accuracy of using mobile and location, which is how do we know we have the right signal in the right place? Um, how does that translate? It translates to what's the context of that location. I think that's where creative needs to focus their time, is when are we speaking to our customer and then how does that message shift? Um, it's not just about changing the banner unit because I think every time you'll see at a conference, probably you know we'll hear it here. Um, no more banners, right? You know we can't stop hearing that. But I think it's much bigger than that. That it's about changing the way that we work with our creative partners. So it's about integrating the creative agencies with the media teams. And that's a much bigger issue. That's that's an industry change and exactly what you mentioned about. Um, how the creative directors maybe have traditionally been. But um, once we can start to include the, the creative agency in the entire process, I think right there is the first step to solving this problem. I think the second is um, understanding where we're reaching our consumers because mobile is, is you know, it's, it's with you when you wake up, it's with you when you go to the coffee shop, it's with you when you're at the office, when you're at home. It's with you at every point in your life um, but you're in a different mental state in each one of those places. So how can we use the location data uh, and combine it with better messaging to, to create a better experience? Where do you think we are with proximity marketing? From beacons and you know, near field communications and G, you know, all, all the geotargeting. Like, what do you think we're at for 2015? Well, it's funny because we started in proximity targeting, um, not just XAD, but the location space. It was all hyper-local. Um, it was all about setting fences or perimeters around locations and trying to drive people into certain locations. Um, and, and then it kind of shifted to audience, and now we're kind of going back to the basics of that proximity strategy and, and really trying to use exactly all of these different technologies, whether it's NFC, whether it's beacons, um, to, to really tap into someone who's much closer or someone who already has your app, who's a loyalist. Um, I think what we have to be very careful about is that there are certain circumstances where that works and there are a whole lot where it doesn't. Um, from an advertising perspective, I don't think we're there yet. I don't think that, um, you know, for us as a company, we've done a lot of analysis from a scale perspective, um, from a usage perspective, whether it makes sense for us to um, 
you know, start deploying beacons all over the place? It probably doesn't. But for a Walmart, for Coca-Cola, for another big brand that has, you know, a huge, huge global footprint, for them, the data that they can call from, from using that beacon technology becomes very valuable because they already have a consumer loyalist. So I think the, the, the place where we're at is understanding when you should be using it and who should be using it because a lot of times you'll hear these buzzwords and people are just saying, you know, we call them the me too's, you know, us too, we're doing that too just because it's something people are talking about when in reality, you know, it may not be the best solution for everyone.